Neil, a big plus from the reserve game the other day, a hat-trick for Anton Forrester. What's that made you think of for Saturday? Um, it's not done his chances any harm for Saturday. I think um, if you have a reserve game, you want players to give a good account of themselves and, and obviously make you think about um, their selection for the for the next game. And, and Anton, he's obviously come on a sub in the last couple of matches. And um, as I say, good for him to get some goals on Tuesday. And um, he'll be a player that will be considered you know, for Saturday's game. You're an experienced manager who's worked with a lot of players. That said, how would you sum up Anton Forrester? I think everybody looks at Anton and they can see that there is a, a player there who's got potential. But everybody's trying to get the best out of him and trying to get him to perform regularly. Um, but people will always look at him the, the same. He, he's a player who possesses good attributes um, a lot of good attributes, but it's a case of, you know, who can get those attributes out of Anton, and can he do it himself, and can he produce week in week out? Um, and if he could do that, he could forge, uh, obviously, the career that he wants. Ben Whitfield's just described himself to us as inconsistent recently. I think the same could probably be said for Anton Forrester. What can you put that kind of thing down to? What I think is a team we've. You know we've not not played well recently, so you could say that uh, a lot of players have been inconsistent. But if, over uh, uh, over the the whole season, of which obviously I'm, I've not been here all season, but uh, I think the consensus of opinion since Anton has been here is he's never fulfilled the potential that he has. Um, there can there can always be a, a lot of reasons, but a lot of the time for me it's it's excuses and it's always down to to the player himself and how much he wants it, what desire he has, what his mental attributes are like. And um, sooner or later, the penny has to drop and it's got to be down to, it's got to, be down to the player and whether he wants, wants it enough and he's willing to, to work hard and to have the mental strength to, to forge a career. So you think there's a big connection between the two, do you? Individual consistency and individual desire. I think you have to have the you have to have the desire if you want to play at a, a good level of football. Um, but a, another thing is is because Anton's had injuries, I think they've affected him. Um, so he's psychologically, I think he's he's been worried about breaking down, which is which is is limited some of the times where he's possibly wanted to push himself. And I think un in, until he overcomes that hurdle, um, which again, what a lot of football is to do with the mental side of things. Once he can overcome that and really sort of let himself go, and trusting, I think, in, in his body and in, in that it's, you know, he's in a, he can deal with the physical demands, and once he can put all that together, then hopefully we can see the best of him out on the pitch. Talking to Ben Whitfield about his season so far, he says he's happy to play wherever you want him to play, but feels he's best suited down the middle. Where do you see his best position being, Ben? Um, regardless of what his best position is, um, he's at his best when he works as hard as he can um, and when he's prepared to cover every blade of grass, whether it's wide, whether it's behind the striker or wherever. Um, and that's all we've ever asked of him to, to put in the, the work rate that he showed. Um, in some of the games but he hasn't been at that level over the last well you can say the team hasn't been at that level but certainly since the Luton game he hasn't reached those standards and for me he needs to, he needs to work harder than he's done over the last few weeks Have you seen a reaction since you left him out for the Colchester game? I think his attitude has is, is not been in doubt but you have to do the you're talking on the pitch what are you thinking for Saturday? A nil-nil draw last week. When it comes to changes, is there many in your mind? I have the team now that I'll, that I'll, that I'll be playing on Saturday. You obviously give it a lot of thought, and when you're not winning games, the tendency is always to, to change things, and you have to look at all things if, if you're not getting results. But um, you've got to look at the basic core of the squad and the, and the, and the players who, who do play or form the you know the, the majority of the the team out week in week out, 
and um, you know there won't be wholesale changes. What are you expecting going to Wadden Road? Because you won the reverse fixture back in October. I don't think the previous fix fixture has any anything to do with what will happen on Saturday. Um, they've changed some personnel. They've changed formation from when we played them in the the, the game at home. They're like all teams. They're all we're all desperate to get the result. And like all games at this level, they are difficult games. And Saturday will be the same. But we have to be confident, and we have to, you know, play our own game, and we have to be positive, and uh, we have to be brave.